Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, esteemed Nobel laureates, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Nobel Foundation, it's a great pleasure for me to welcome you all to this year's Nobel Prize Award Ceremony and the laureates of 2021. <laughs> Physiology or Medicine, David Julius and Ardem Pataputian. Presentation of the Nobel Prize in Chemistry by Professor Olof Ramström. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, esteemed Nobel Prize laureates, esteemed Nobel laureates in 2020 and 2021, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, chemistry can be hard, sometimes really hard. And one reason for this is the somewhat, somewhat wild behavior of atoms and molecules and the complexity of the environments where they are located. Oftentimes, the compounds resist many brave attempts to tame them, to study them, and to use them for our various purposes. However, thanks to our laureates, we now have tools that, makes, that make this difficult task easier. Instead of tempering the molecules, arduously persuading them to make the intended connections, which many chemists are indeed very, very good at doing, what about an alternative route? Rather than tailoring every specific connection to perfection, we could use a simpler, more straightforward approach based on very robust ways to make such connections. Such chemistry would be so efficient and selective that it would work almost everywhere without complications. This type of connection chemistry does not come easy. But around the turn of the millennium, both Morton Meldahl and Barry Sharpless discovered a very robust chemical reaction that worked in this very straightforward way. By allowing an acide to react with an alkyne in the presence of copper, a new molecule, a so-called uh, triazole, was very efficiently formed. It was as if the two partner molecules, the acide and the alkyne, were a perfect match, but needed a little help to find each other. The copper ion then acted as a matchmaker and made the two a pair. In a sense, it just said click, the Sabara click, and the two were united. Barry Sharpless called this type of robust chemistry click chemistry. And the reaction is sometimes called the click reaction. He envisaged that even rather complex structures could be assembled with such reactions. At around the same time, Carolyn Bertozzi was studying the very, very complex world of glycans, st uh, sugar structures often present uh, on cell surfaces. To achieve this, she developed robust and very efficient click-type chemistry, also based on acides, that could be performed directly in living systems. The reactions had to be highly selective and not interfere with the myriad of compounds and reactions taking place in such systems. She called this biorthogonal chemistry and was able to use this to follow the fates of the glycans and decipher intricate biological processes. The achievements and discoveries of our laureates have had enormous influence on our society through the development of inspirational new concepts and highly efficient methods, the laureates have enhanced our capabilities and considerably deepened and widened our knowledge and understanding. Their remarkable chemistry has spurred intense activity across many different areas, which has resulted in a wealth of new, highly important accomplishments. Caroline Bertossi, Morten Meldahl, Barry Sharpless, 
you have made groundbreaking discoveries in chemistry that have led to the development of click chemistry and biorthogonal chemistry. This is a truly great achievement for the benefit of humankind. On behalf of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, I wish to convey to you our warmest congratulations. May I now ask you to step forward and receive your Nobel Prizes from the hands of His Majesty the King. First American chemist, Caroline Bertozzi, who works at Stanford. Morten Meldahl, affiliated with the University of Copenhagen. Tearful moment. And finally, American chemist Barry Sharpless, who was here already in 2001 receiving a Nobel Prize for his work on curely catalyzed oxidation reactions. He is now one of the five persons ever who has received the prize more than once. <laughs> 